yo, can we talk about how Code Mystics just doesn't miss? Even more sub being added to the RK One Up Killer Instinct online beta and online update. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Michael Wall Trades. Coming to you today with a video that I'm actually genuinely happy to record. Uh, first things first, like we see, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not in uh, turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss anything. But um, today, let's talk about Killer Instinct. So, about a week ago, or a week or two ago, uh, Code Mystics announced that they were doing work on the back end to add spectating mode to Killer Instinct from RK1 Up. Now, many people are like, oh, well, nobody's going to watch it. And, Nobody really wants spectate mode. Since spectate mode has come out, everybody and their mom has been in the Killer Instinct lobbies, right? So I personally messaged Code Mystics like, hey, um, is there anything I can do to fine tune it because of the tournament that I'm running on January 8th? And then I said something in a, in a message and I was like, yo, hey, you guys added, is there gonna be new additions? Will they be like able to do first three, first to five? And they told me nothing at this time, right? Apparently, they're cheeky individuals because of myself, apparently with along with other people have asked for this to be added. So they've added this along with everything. So with winter cup privilege, that's still there. You can still spectate now, right? When you're spectating, you can now have it so that you can just watch only, or if somebody wants to challenge you, you can now, you know, you can decline their challenge. You know what I mean? And people that are watching get challenged. Does that make sense? So let's say I'm watching somebody's game. They challenge me. I can watch it. Then when I lose, I can go back to watching the match, right? They added an ability for you to set the number of rounds you play. So, you know, we play a lot of first to threes, first to fives, first to tens, you know? And so now you have that ability to set the number of rounds that you play a match with. So if you want to have a good practice session with somebody and you want to go 99 rounds without anybody else interrupting, you can do that. If you're in a tournament setting and you want to run first to fives and not worry about anybody hopping in, you can do that as well, you know? And then while you're spectating, again, you can adjust your availability while you're watching. That is a game changer, along with the ability to add passcodes. So you don't have to worry about randos hopping online, you know, myself, uh, Lord Sosa, Roger, a couple of people, we were messing around with this, uh, last night or whenever this video comes up so it was great and then there's an ability now to quick reconnect so if you disconnect for whatever reason like let's say you get kicked off the router or 14 other kids are playing fortnite or whatever else right you have the ability to quick reconnect with an icon next to them and that's pretty freaking dope you know what i mean um absolutely awesome that they're doing this stuff with community Literally, it's just another step in the, in the right direction where Code Mystics is pretty much should be doing everything going forward as far as online. And I don't mean just fighting games. I mean the sports titles or whatever else that is that RK want to, wants to put out competitively. Uh, if you guys want to check the website, it's CodeMystics.com backslash KI underscore update. And you can read it yourself. But I want to give you guys this information, let you guys know. Um, this functions with Killer Instinct 1 and Killer Instinct 2. Sorry, Battletoads, but let's be real. Battletoads doesn't really need it, am I right? Anyway, uh, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.